Well, I want to start out by just saying that it's very interesting that we as judges are being called upon to decide what school administrators can do. It's only because the, the First Amendment is so, so important. In fact, a youngster once asked me, why is the First Amendment first? And I said, I think really because our founding fathers thought that free speech, freedom of religion, the right of assembly, petition for grievances, free press, these things really are important. But sometimes we as judges say to, say to ourselves, gee, you know, should we be deciding this? How can we say what really is disruptive in the school environment? It's a very, these are very difficult cases. And we had a difficult one uh, come before us recently where youngsters wore, uh, they were in junior high school, they wore an arm bracelet saying, I heart boobies. It was part of cancer awareness campaign. And they did it, the school was having a, bre a cancer, breast cancer awareness day uh, and they wore these bracelets. They were told to take them off, and they didn't. And again, the parents sued. But what's interesting in that situation is it's kind of like the Vietnam protest. We have the kind of speech on an issue of public concern that really is what the First Amendment is all about. They were talking about breast cancer awareness, raising this issue, an issue of public concern, kind of like the kids who are protesting against Vietnam, and different from speech where they're doing a parody of the principle. So the, the value of the speech in this case, uh, I heart boobies, is very high. It's exactly what the First Amendment was meant to protect. And on the other side, and this is the way we kind of think about this type of, this area of the law, there's a balancing here. And on this side, as Judge McKee said, the issue is disruption in the schools. And there was no disruption in the schools. There was a couple of tittering here and there, but nothing all that extreme in terms of the interference with what was going on in the school. And our court held that, now I must say there was an issue of whether this phrase, I heart boobies, was potentially lewd. And here again, it's in the eyes of the beholder. We learned, I learned as part of a mock trial afterwards, not as part of this case, that the word boobies is used very often in PG-13 movies. Is it part of common parlance? Well, there again, that's certainly not something that Chief Judge McKee and I know about. So it was interesting when a youngster in a mock trial brought that to my attention, and a youngster on the other side said, yes, but it's only used in PG-13s when it, you want to evoke laughter. Well. We don't want it to be evoking laughter in the schools and therefore are very disruptive. So, you know, there are all these things that go against, yes, it's valued speech, is it going to disrupt? And where that balance lies will depend in each case on the facts. But our court held that because of the value of the speech and because it was just arguably lewd and there was no disruption, the students had the right to wear those, those armbands. Some judges disagreed, and it had to do primarily with their view of the phrase. That reasonable minds differ, and they thought that phrase was bordering on obscene. So you have different, here again, judges making these decisions as to what a phrase is or what it means, when we probably should take a poll of the kids <laughs> to decide whether, you know, whether it's used in common parlance. But oh no, we, we have to do the do make the best of what we have. And there was a disagreement, though, that centered on, the, on that speech and the nature of it.